Hey, and welcome to the Power Mac Guy channel. Uh, today we're going to be setting up Linux on the Samsung Galaxy Tab S7 Plus. The app you see open here is called Termux. Right now I'm installing some basic features and I'm about to install Andronix, which is actually what will be Linux. Just clearing the screen. And here we go with Andronix. So Andronix is actually a collection of Linux distros prepared just for Android. They all run within a crude environment inside of Termux. Uh, I recommend the Andrux modded OS's because they have access to um, better repositories and that way you can install all the software that I'll be installing. The modded OS's I think are about like a dollar. I, it's such a small purchase, I totally recommend it. I'm just going to sign in. So uh, what I just did was get a link from Andronix, which allows me to install the actual distro, and then you just copy that into Termux. And now I'm just installing that. So it's going to take a little bit to get all the files on your tablet, set everything up. But this is just the first part. Just uh, checking the camera. So here we are after everything's been, uh, inst all the files are put in place and now we're about to actually start the environment which will set us into the um, starter process which is this. So we have to set up our locale, uh, you know, tell it where we are so we can know which language to use, stuff like that. Time zones, the keyboard, I don't really know which keyboard to pick, I just kind of with the, with the generic one because that seems to work. Um, in another video, I'll probably set up how to do the locales, because the locales actually don't work by default, even after you do this. There's like a few small steps you have to do, and then uh, all the programs start to work. Because if the locale isn't set up, then certain programs won't work. Like I know FreeCAD had an error, and uh, KiCad definitely doesn't want to start. But yep, yeah, it'll take a few minutes to set some stuff up, and then we get to the user account creation. So you're going to enter your... Uh, username, which has to be all lowercase. Uh, for this particular distro, they want the name associated with that username. And then you have to set the password for both uh, your user account and the root account. Just gonna hide those passwords there. Alright, so this part uh, is gonna take a few minutes. It's gonna finish setting everything up, creating files associated with the user accounts, and uh, basically creating a miniature Linux environment within your tablet, all contained within Termux. Alright, so that's all done. So, the distro itself was actually started after that process, but in order to access it, you have to start a VNC server using a command called VNC server dash start. And then in order to access this, I'm going to use an app called BVNC Pro. It's basically just a VNC client. However, the app is very well made and uh, the options they have inside for managing the VNC interface are, they make it excellent. In fact, I prefer to use this app to connect to my desktop, my Windows desktop, whenever I can. It's probably the simplest and easiest connection that works pretty much every single time. Very stable and reliable. And with that, you have a Linux environment completely set up. So in this next part, I'll just be um, installing a couple programs just to demonstrate that we do actually have Linux working. So in order to install stuff in Linux, you have to uh, type in your password every single time. Oh, so for this first part, I'm going to be updating the system and then uh, using the upgrade command to finish the update, which is just going to make sure everything is up to date. So after that's done, then we actually get to install stuff. 
So using sudo apt-get install, we can install freecad. And it'll take a few moments. And after it's done installing, we can start it. So this isn't like uh, a miniature version or anything. This is literally FreeCAD, as if this were on your desktop. Now it's not going to run like it were on a desktop, uh, because it is literally using hardware inside your tablet. However, it does give you access to extended capabilities, so you can do way more with your tablet now because you have actual CAD software on here. So as long as the projects aren't too large, it can actually be extraordinarily useful. So here I'm just creating a sample object just to demonstrate that it is actually working. So with FreeCAD you have to really define everything and get all the constraints in there. So we're just selecting a plane, I want to create a rectangle, and of course the rectangle isn't done until you set the constraints because the program has to know exactly where that rectangle is in 3D space. Uh, while this is a little bit more tedious than certain 3D programs, it actually makes this program really powerful because since it knows where everything is, you can make changes on top of changes. So after that was uh, constrained, you can add a pad, which is what I'm doing here, and now it has uh, three dimensionality. However, I was not able to demonstrate that. I'll have to demonstrate that in another video. So after installing FreeCAD, I think I installed Slicer. No Blender. So once again, this is the actual full version of Blender. However, it won't run as quickly as it would have on a uh, desktop. So I'm actually gonna see if there's something I can use to make it run better because it runs a little slow as you'll see in just a minute. Um, it's a bit heavy. So here we are, so I'm just going to move around the 3D interface just a little bit and you'll see that it's a little, uh, a little slow, just a little slow. Alright, and then for the final program, I decided to put um, Slicer on here, which I'm actually going to be using for some other stuff, uh, using FreeCAD and Slicer together you can actually have a really nice uh, 3D workflow. So after you install Slicer, um, there's going to be a little setup dialog. Now if you have a pre-configured config file, you can just do what I'm about to do and skip through everything. Uh, if you don't, then you'd want to set up the various pieces of information, for instance, you know, rep wrap, is it, is it rectangular, set up the bed size, the nozzle, the diameter of the, you know, all that stuff, you want to actually set that at this point. Um, but it doesn't really matter because you can always change it later. So yeah, at this point, um, the Linux distro is completely set up, and here I'm just showing what you would do in order to exit. I know I was moving kind of fast in this particular video, but uh, that was just because it was my first time recording uh, in this particular fashion, you know, getting the actual tablet in there. But basically, to um, end it, you just type in VNC server stop to stop the VNC, the VNC server, and then you uh, type in exit, and that will exit the actual distro and then you'll be right back to normal termux but other than that that's all it takes it took under five minutes to set up termux and five more minutes to install some programs other than that you're all set thanks for watching